to begin with, I welcome my madam, Honorable Madam, Professor Nilofar Khan, and thank her for all the support that she has given to us for organizing this conference, as well as rather giving a nod to have this conference in, at the uh, University of Kashmir. I also welcome Dr. Nisan, my registrar, and thank him for all the support that, and uh, guidance that he is giving to Public Relations Center. I thank all the distinguished guests from Publication Division as well as from other units of Information Broadcast Ministry who have come over, uh, over here for participation. I also welcome all the, my colleagues and students. And above all, it really gives me immense pleasure and delight to welcome Madam Monidipa Mukherjee who really for organizing this event here and proposing her trust so that we could organize this conference at University of Kashmir. We at Publication, Public uh, um, Relations Center feel highly honored and thankful to you, Madam, for, not, for having collaboration. I think and believe we need more such collaborations, not only to discuss and deliberate the changing media scenario, but also to give a chance or a platform to all the media educators, students and intellectuals to interact and exchange their ideas. Also, we at University of Kashmir in general and media studies, I mean mass communication department in particular, is looking forward for a sustained collaboration so that our students can get some internship programs, not only at the publication division, but in different uh, media units of information broadcast. Because such collaboration is need of the hour. Because as we all know, within this Mojo journalism culture, we need to build the capacities of, of our students and enhance their skills so that they are ready to face the challenges that the new media is posing. As we all know, the complete corporatization of media has taken place and we believe in this scenario, digital media tools have hold the promise to reach to the unheard voices. Today, media professionals are being accused of being pejorative. That's true, but seeking personal privileges in lieu of our keyboard and camera must not be the mission we seek to accomplish. Let us not forget we all are equals. And let us not forget power is not all about exercising our authority alone. It also have, we also have to shoulder some responsibilities. The camera or the pen or the keyboard should make us more responsible than power intoxicated. Honorable Madam, professionals with P, we have seen in the university also in some institutions that professionals with pen or keyboard or camera make everyone around them feel that they have a better sense of understanding and they alone can think logically. This supercilious attitude defeats the very purpose of objectivity which actually de defines a media professional and which journalism promises to hold. Media professionals unfortunately have hold, they hold the role of movers and shakers. This is power corruption in a different mode and style that is breeding arrogance. It is this arrogance that makes media a virtual offshoot of oligarchy. Media is to serve society, not to rob it off with truth and fair play. Truth and fair play must be our most treasured assets. These ideals we as media educators have to uphold and also we have to imbibe them in our students. Uh, at the outset, I would like to express my heartfelt thanks and gratitude uh, to the University of Kashmir authorities for extending such a warm welcome and for agreeing to this collaboration, uh, the preparations for which went off extremely smoothly without a hitch and uh, right from the word go, whatever proposals we had put forth were agreed to with suggestions for improvement and I hope this is just a beginning. Uh, and we can work much more closely with the university and the mass communication department as well as make this into some sort of a permanent thing where not only uh, the publications division of the ministry but also the other media units that are there could also work in collaboration with the university and the mass communication department which we will discuss subsequently with the authorities. So I don't know uh, how many of you all are aware but Publications Division is one of the oldest uh, departments of the Government of India which has been in the business of publishing since the past 81 years. And in fact the first publication that was uh, printed and published for the readers 
was Aajkal in Pashto. And after about a year, year and a half, it, it switched to being published in Urdu. So Aajkal Urdu is our first and oldest publication. And then of course we have our books. Uh, so we have uh, two types of books. One is for adults, which are non-fiction. And for children, we have fiction, we have stories, and as well as non-fiction books for children. Then we bring out certain specialized publications which are mandated to be published by us. One is the India Yearbook, which is in Hindi and English, which is a compendium of various departments, ministries, allied agencies of the government of India, along with uh, a reference data, which is very useful to the students who are preparing for uh, competitive exams as well as as a reference book that could be used by anybody who has to have some kind of knowledge or awareness about government of India, about our flag, about uh, the various presidents of India, about uh, precedents, about different general knowledge material. Then we, since the past two years, the finance ministry has also requested us to publish the economic survey, which earlier the Oxford University Press was publishing and charging like maybe triple the price than what we are offering. So the Ministry of Finance has requested us to publish economic survey. And then we also uh, have recently started uh, uh, it is a, uh, you can say, a, a game which could be downloaded on the t uh, phone, on the mobile phone. It's called Azadi Quest. So this is like, a, you can say, something like Candy Crush with children play, but on the freedom movement. And we are constantly adding more and more things uh, to that game. And apart from that, we have our journals. Uh, that is Yojna, which is also there in Urdu. We have Employment News, which is a job journal, which is published in English, Hindi, Urdu. And then, of course, Aajkal in Urdu. And we have Kurukshetra, which is a rural development magazine available in English and in Hindi. Uh, apart from this, uh, on and off, we get special requests from ICHR, from the ministry to publish certain things uh, which are required at that specific time. Uh, so uh, uh, we have a series of books on Rashtrapati Bhavan. Uh, I mean, uh, in this year we have reached a count of 17 books on various aspects of Rashtrapati Bhavan, the presidencies. Uh, we have folk tales uh, from different parts of the country. And here I would like to bring in the uh, specific uh, areas where we see that there is a lack. One is, of course, from this region. We don't have any books for children or folk tales or stories from Jammu and Kashmir, uh, Ladakh. And then we don't have authors onboarded from this particular region. So that is where I would like more discussion and help to identify authors, onboard them, commission books, uh, which could be in any language because we publish in 18 languages used in various parts of the country. So we are not, uh, we are uh, welcome, I mean we welcome authors, uh, publications in any language. So suggestions have to come from people, from experts, academics who are here so that we could onboard authors, we could have suggestions of books for children as well as adults. We are grateful that you have chosen University of Kashmir for this one day workshop. As we all know that <coughs> University of Kashmir has the, I was just sharing that this publication has a uh, history in the pre-independence era. We as the University of Kashmir has just taken birth just after the independence, that is 1948. That is uh, that we are also the oldest university in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. And our university is uh, a grade A 
accredited by NAC with 3 plus 3 1 CGP score and our NRF ranking is also within 50s. So I believe that you have chosen the right university, right institution for this collaboration. To be honest that uh, when we talk of the publications from different ministries or from different institutions and the publication of the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting is the most authentic and, and uh, pure form of publication. The workshop, more two of this workshop is slightly, uh, slightly to the gigantic more two which is outreach and, and another is the capacity building. It probably needs a long and sustained relationship between us and you. So my request will be that if you could, uh, my, my brief suggestions, I have two, three brief suggestions. One brief suggestion is that if we develop linkages between the Ministry of INB and the University of Kashmir, whether it is the Department of Mass Media or it is the, our PRO division, it comes under the registrar, but most appropriate is the our mass, and mass communication department, which is also a oldest department of University of Kashmir and it has prevented <coughs> A uh, strong alumnus is available from our Department of Mass Communication also and they are well trained in the subject. So one suggestion is that we can develop a strong linkage between the two. Simultaneously my request to the Honorable Vice Chancellor will also be that if we could develop a publication corner within our we have a big uh, central library for the publications of the Ministry of Art exclusively for it so that students and scholars can directly go to that publication division, publication corner and choose or identify the sources or resources which they can refer or which they can read. That is my another request or suggestion. And another suggestion is that we have almost 40, 50 students in the mass, mass communication division. We need to uh, send them from different publication houses in Delhi or within the, within, within the Union Territory and internship of those students could help them to develop a sense of responsibility and sense of uh, media which we see slightly we are ourselves uh, all the time we are uh, victims of bad publicity so i hope that they will be trained in a professional and uh, well uh, trained manner it's a very important uh, activity and not only our uh, institute, our faculty from uh, media and uh, our students and research scholars will be benefited, uh, but also, uh, you know, uh, the type of publications that uh, publication division takes out are of importance, uh, not only to the uh, media students, but they are of importance to even of every other specialization could be sociology social work uh, and other uh, uh, you know education and other departments a great work that publication division is doing but uh, you know uh, i think the type of awareness that we got today we need to have uh, more awareness of these types of uh, activities uh, we have a good number of affiliated colleges with us, I will definitely like, uh, you know, our publication, uh, public relations center who are involved in collaborating with this activity. Uh, that as we are proposing, our uh, chief librarian is here, Professor Irshad. Definitely, Irshad sir, please, uh, you know, uh, subscribe for the uh, publications which they are taking out. They are on socio-economic development of uh, our, you know, country of different states. Uh, they are on rural development. They are on culture and literature. They are related to children. They are also related to, uh, you know, folk tales for children. They already said they are looking for a, a write-up on folk tales for children from Kashmir. I am sure a proposal will come out from uh, Merck or our uh, you know public relations center we should definitely take up this activity so that we can uh, contribute and it will be a great contribution uh, to our society and uh, i must say that the publication division ministry of information and broadcasting government of india 
is welcome any time to have any type of activity in our uh, university. As uh, our registrar already said, this is one of the oldest university, and uh, uh, we have uh, contributed a lot to our uh, education sector in our uh, UT, uh, and uh, we are, uh, of course, uh, the hand holding, uh, you know, uh, responsibility we have uh, for other academic institutions also. Uh, and uh, wherever uh, any other institute has to collaborate uh, with our publication division, jointly we can do it. We can organize some other activity where we can rope in other universities also uh, their uh, publication uh, relations center of other universities also and have a uh, bigger platform so that uh, you know uh, each and every academic institution comes to know because when I was listening these are very important publications that uh, you know the ministry is taking out or the division is taking out uh, and uh, I'm sure they can be of beneficial to everyone we would definitely like that our uh, students get uh, some type of uh, training in your uh, prestigious uh, division so that they have that feel of national integration which is very important then training good training and uh, they uh, they are very hard working uh, i must say our students are very hard working and with very good communication skills with very good uh, writing skills uh, you know, uh, even your division will be benefited and they will be benefited. I am uh, very uh, confident of that. So we will definitely look towards that if you can also take up uh, that initiative. And in future also, if any type of an activity is to be organized in our university, you are most welcome. With these words, I congratulate the publication division and our public uh, relations center uh, for organizing this very important activity which should be only a uh, beginning uh, and it should go on with series of activities uh, whenever it's planned. With these words, thank you very much.